Hey everybody, it's Seeker from His Culture Airsoft here with my beautiful new primary indoor gun, the High Kappa 5.1 Gold Match Tokyo Marui. That's right, the best of the best. I'm so excited to finally get my hands on one of these. I've waited for a while for Evi to get in stock with them, but that never really happened. And I didn't feel like spending $195 on a pistol, but... I found a website, and this is a shameless plug. I'm not sponsored by them. I just really, really like the fact that they have got some great pieces, some great prices for all things you need high kappa. If you guys are wanting to build a high kappa or buy one that's stock, Rainbow 8 is a great website to get started with. This was $175 in comparison to Evike, which is $195 as of right now. Shipping and handling was really cheap if, if you buy in bulk. I did buy a couple of um, custom pieces that you're going to see here in this build in just a minute. Uh, some Ashoff Masterpiece slide, or not a slide, excuse me. I've got an Airsoft Masterpiece um, cocking handle that actually doesn't fit on this. It's a sad day, but it will once I do a little bit of dremeling. Um, I got a new outer barrel, um, some cow cow spacers, you name it, they've got it. And it's all at a very good, very affordable price, especially for the high kappa industry. If you guys have ever looked into building one, they're very, very expensive, especially if you don't know what you're doing and you buy these wrong parts, you could be out a hundred dollars. You could be out, um, even up to $200 if you don't match the right pieces together. So that's an amazing company to start with. So shameless plug, Rainbow 8. I'll put a link to their website in the description below. Go ahead and check them out. So without further ado, here is my review of this specific Tokyo Marui. All right, so this is not going to be an unboxing video. Yes, I'm going to be taking it out of the box, but I've already done a couple of um, upgrades to this gun and if you guys would like to see a full breakdown from stock um, gold match all the way down to the disassembly and reassembly just let me know down in the comments I would love to go ahead and do that for you guys um, there's nothing out there on this specific uh, disassembly and assembly um, just the other um, Marui examples Marui models um, it's very similar in everything. If you know what a high kappa is and you know the internals, it's all the same. But there's just a couple of little quirks in this one that makes it unique. Um, so just let me know if you guys want a full breakdown of that in the comments below. So without further ado, here we go. We're going to go ahead and just unbox this and set this to the side. So right off the bat, you guys can tell that there's no orange tip. And it almost looks completely stock. But... This outer barrel is completely aluminum, not plastic, like the original. I actually have put that plastic one on my Jag Arms over here. So this is the Jag Arms um, 4.3. It's a little bit different color because I spray painted it neon green and white. Originally what our team colors were going to be, but we decided to go with black and gold for hashtag its culture. Um, this is the original Tokyo Marui barrel. It's plastic, it's cheap, it's garbage, but it looks pretty ghetto and pretty, uh, just out there on this build. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to throw it in there. So that's where that's at. But let's get back to, uh, the most important part of this gun, which is the looks. How beautiful, how sexy. Just, I don't like the word sexy, but it's the only word that describes this gun. That's how it is. So um, starting up at the top, we've got the stock slide, stock rear and front sight, stock trigger. Everything in here is stock except for the outer barrel, some cow-cow spacers that I've got for it to be um, short stroke. And that's about it. I'm planning on getting a 9-ball uh, 6.00 um, Type 4 barrel for this gun, and you'll see here in just a second. Uh, I will show you guys this um, outer barrel and what it's called and what it does in just a moment. But the reason I am using this um, specific setup is because I am uh, setting up our team to be a Speed QB um, airsoft team. With that being said, tracers are a must in my opinion, especially for indoor. 
So I had to get a new barrel. The original barrel is not threaded. So this will be what my primary looks like when I'm running indoor. Very, very long. Uh, part of the reason I want to be able to make those long distance shots from um, your your back anchors. I'm not going to be an anchor, but you know, if you're playing snake, you want to get a little bit of range as well. Make sure that it's precision shot. Uh, the barrel's ending about right here. It's 112.5 millimeters long. I'm going to be getting a six inch barrel. Uh, so it's going to be about right here. It's going to be cutting it really close. I hope that it fits, but it'll give me that extra precision. So this is my primary. This is what it looks like. And let me go ahead and show you guys um, exactly, you know what, we're going to put that right here, what this outer barrel is because this is what it actually looks like. It's actually supposed to be black, but I noticed, and that's, that's what this is right there. I actually noticed once I was putting it and installing it into the slide that a couple of scrapes happened and it was gold underneath, which I particularly love because it just makes this gold match look even more uh, just flashy than just another black outer barrel. Um, but this is called the Jaeger Cave Threaded Outer Barrel, and it's pretty awesome. So, again, Rainbow 8, shameless plug, not sponsored. Just go check them out. It's pretty awesome. And we're back. I hope this is recording. We'll find out. Uh, so, back to the gun. Let's go ahead and take this apart, and I will show you guys exactly what I've done. I'm not going to take the whole gun apart, just the slide, so you guys can see what's under the hood. So we'll go ahead and slide that back. And I can never get my finger in here far enough to actually get this to pop out. So I apologize if this is just making you guys cringe. All right, so I finally got that out. Took forever. So as you guys can see, I've got some cow cow short stroke spacers on my gun. The reason I have this is this is my gonna be my primary and it's gonna be ran as an HPA setup. And this is why. This is the primary Airsoft M4 adapter for your pistol. I can put an M4 magazine into this and shoot it out of my pistol. It's pretty great. The capacity is great. You don't have to worry about filling up your mag with green gas or CO2 and running out. It's just all there. It's an amazing system. So why is it short stroked? Better gas efficiency, quicker recycle speed, and a faster trigger technically because it's recycling faster. That's why I did it. This guy is a pain in the rear end to get off so i'm going to try to get this off in one in one go dude there we go just like that slides out let's go ahead and take this off so here's the uh jaeger outer barrel as you can you guys can sort of see um, there's a little bit of black residue still left, but you can't really tell once it's in the gun. This is the original hop up in the original inner barrel. All I did was slap it into this guy, and it's that simple. You've got threads, so you can run a tracer. Um, if you're not using the tracer at the time, you can just go ahead and put this cap back on. It's so simple, and it's so clean. And I highly recommend it for any build out there. Outer threads are, this is my first time with outer threads on a pistol. Um, it makes it longer, yes. But if you can get a new inner barrel to make up for that distance, you are going to have that much more accuracy. And it's going to shoot a whole lot more uh, consistent. So yeah, that's what I've got so far. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back together and give you guys my last thoughts on just high cappers in general. All right, so guys, overall, um, I've only shot this outside a couple times just to put a couple rounds through it. 
as of right now, it's shooting like a laser. I'm using 0.28 tracer BBs, and they are on point each and every time. Uh, I was hitting a target about 50, about 50 feet away, and the spread was consistent. It was always in the same area. Uh, overall, I'm very satisfied with this purchase. I challenge you guys, if you've never played a high cap of platform before, give it a try. Indoor is the best place to try it out. Um, I guarantee people like Call Sign Pumba would agree with me that there's there's just something about running a high kappa inside. It's just so much fun. Now, maybe you don't want to go all out and buy something like the high kappa gold match right off the bat. So I challenge you guys, go, go a little bit cheaper and just introduce yourself to the platform. I'm not going to lie, the Jag Arms is a great intro pistol. The whole reason I bought this was so I could see if I liked the high cap of platform. Um, it's about 80 bucks on Evike, um, 85, 90, you know, after shipping and handling, you're paying a hundred bucks and it's a really, really good gun. Uh, the only problem that you get into, which makes this a little bit pricey is the magazines. Um, those are going to run you $25 a pop. But um, if you do want to try things out and you're willing to spend a little bit of extra money, go all the way, get a Tokyo Marui. You know it's going to be shooting great out of the box. This is the equivalency of the Novrich SSG-24 or his new silence pistol, which is amazing, and I can't wait to get it at one point. Uh, if you're going to go this route and go a little bit cheaper, go ahead and buy the extended 52-round magazine um, by WeTech. Um, or you can get the other one if, if there's a Marui version, it still works in this. This is completely customizable as well as the Tokyo Marui. This is just going to be a little bit of a, uh, a cheaper platform. It's all aluminum, very heavy in comparison, but it gets the job done. So wherever your budget is, whatever you're doing, I challenge you guys, get into this platform. You will not be disappointed. So with that being said, guys, I hope you have a blessed night, a blessed day, a blessed afternoon. Whenever, wherever you're watching this, whenever you're watching this, be blessed. If you like the video, go ahead and like and subscribe. I'll be uploading. I'm not going to say every single week. I'm a broke college boy who works and does college, and I'm very involved with my church. So whenever I get time, I'll upload for you guys. In the meantime, let's just represent his culture.